DJ Sharp MC. Live. Back on the track. All right, so today I think we're going to start with something different. We're going to find a sample, and then we're going to build a sound or build a track from that sample. So let's go into, we're going to my big budget samples. Uh, what is in, let's do future bass. What's in future bass? Drum loops, one shots, instruments, synth loops. Let's go to synth loops first. Arp loops, chord, uh, let's see what's in the chord. something. We have a winner. Chicken dinner. All right. We're going to start with that since I need to do a bunch of stuff to make it work. All right. So we got the sound. All right. That sounds pretty cool. We're going to go through first. Put it on note on so we can gate that puppy then uh let's do the time warp thing because i need to make sure i got that down so here's the beat i have no idea how many bars it is but let's just go into sample edit it shows 140 on the bpm all right so we're gonna go back we're gonna hit warp we're gonna hit warp and see if it fixed it all right so let's go to here So it brought it down to 120. So I think I might just bring the beat up to 140 and see if I could bust a 140 beat. All right, we're going to try to bust a 140 beat. This will be my chord, which is kind of fast, but we'll, we'll figure out how this works. All right, and let's see how many bars. Uh, we'll go to four bars. We'll double this thing right now. Let's just lay it down real quick. All right, let's see if it picked up the loop. And then we'll maybe go back and pick up some sound. All right, so we got that first track. Uh, let's just go back and check sounds again. Uh, so this is the loops. Let's see what's in the drops. in so we have another sample we'll see what's in the art loops I don't think I need anything that busy all right let's see what else is in this pack instruments what we got guitar let's see what's in our guitar loops it'll go that's too slow 
uh, strings. What do we got for strings? I think that sounds exactly like the one I grabbed, just a string version. All right, what do we got for effects? Impacts, what do we got for impacts? All right, we'll bring in one little hit just to have an extra sound. What about risers? We'll bring in the 140 riser just so we have something on beat. White noise. We'll bring in that at 160. And I think we can warp it down because it's a noise sound, so it doesn't matter if it loses some quality. All right, let's go to claps. Bring in a clap. Bring in another clap. All right. Cymbals. Uh, close hi-hats first. Bring in that one. And that one. This might just be a sample-based beat. Bring in that one, that one, and that one. Uh, I'm not going to do no rise. I'm not a fan of rise. Let's send the kicks. All right, that one's nice and heavy. That one, that one, that one. All right, we got a bunch of kicks. Now I'm going to have more sounds than I planned on. But... Those don't work for me. Bring in a snare. Another snare. Another snare. We might have to filter them, but that'll be good for the video. All right, then did I do instruments? I don't think I did instruments. Oh, I did do instruments. Okay, cool. FX instrument drums, one shot. Drum loops. Yeah, might as well go all the way. Uh, let's see what a full... I like the way it sounds, but I don't think it'll go. All right. That sounds cool. I don't know if it'll go. Nah, those are too busy for me. All right, build up. Nope, none of those. All right, so we've just got a bunch of sounds. I need some kits. I might as well just get some kits in here while we're loading stuff. Let's bring in a whole set. Acoustic kit. Bass off kit. Deep house kit. Electro house kit. All right, so that should give us plenty of sound. Uh, I think I got to go through and fix my program. So I'm going to create another program trap if I can keep my first one. This will be my sound. And I think I'm going to go back. And where did I put the first one? The first one I put on program one. So I'm going to switch it out, I think. All right, so here. We'll go to all, all my cymatic stuff. Start right here. Should organize it. I'm not. So this was a kick. Which kick was that? Close this there. Last one we stop. 
clap. Bass down. Shoot your bass. Kick. Alright, let's see if we got everything. Make sure we got everything in here. All right, looks like everybody's there. I'm gonna save this thing because, uh, you know, you start digging in, start building beats, and next thing you know, you'll be like, what, I didn't save it? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna load all this stuff. We'll just call it dub for now, just for the sake of it. I don't even know if I saved it in the right drive. But it doesn't matter, we'll get it loaded. So we might start with a sample, see how it goes. All right, so uh, let's see where we are. So we got, that's the first sound, and it's on track one. Yep, see, that's, that's why I saved it, because that sounds funny. But something got, something got screwed up already. But that's all right, because I'm going to go to my kit that I made. And we're going to find that sound. There it is. Track one and see if it plays. Okay, that's perfect. Let's check the mute group. I don't want no funny business with this stuff. We're going to put you on mute group one. You can be on mono or should it be on poly? We'll leave it on mono for now because I got them all on one kit. So I just want to make sure there's plenty of polyphonics to go around. All right, so that's the first sound. I can either do kicks, or I can do claps. I don't know if that'll go. That that sound. All right, let's see if we can drop it, and then we'll have to figure it out. Uh, before we drop it, let's check it. So there's a warp sound. It must be already in the right speed. Oh, it's at 75. So it is faster. It's not a uh, same speed, so I might have to. Just it by hand. All right, so let's uh, let's drop the beat. Way too, way too fast for that. So before I drop that, I think I'm gonna put a, a hat or a clap so I can keep track of the sound. That one. All right, we'll do we'll do this one, and we'll do it on note repeat, and then we'll add swing. So let's go. We do note repeat. Uh, do note repeat. Quarter notes. Yeah, we'll do quarter notes. All right, so put some swing on this thing. Let's go fifty three. Check uh, the mute groups and stuff. That sound, it's on, note on is fine. Mute group is off. I think I'll put mute group on two. That way if I bring in some more uh, hat sounds, I can have them truncate each other. All right, so we got the first two on the third one. So for the third one, I think we're bringing that other hat. That one. All right, 
So let's figure out how we can get it on in here. Got to turn off time, correct? Let's go 30 seconds, start it over. Wait to do it on 30 seconds, start it over. That sound. Mute group. Mute group two. All right, let's drop it over the top, see if it doesn't. Kind of cutting it off, so that's cool. This will be hat uh, number two. Let's turn it over, alternate. All right, so we got the two hats. Let's save it. Now let's bring in. Should we bring in a kick or a clap? Oh, I think I might have to bring that in next because it wants to go. Let's see if we can fit it in. Nice little chord right there. So now I got two chords and hats. Okay, so this chord, uh, I think my other chord is on mute group off. So my other chord, I would have to find the chord. Okay, so let's go back and set this one real quick. All right, so mute group one, note off mono. And then the one that we picked is B, that one, mute group one, note off. All right, so now let's right, chord one, chord two, so let's go hat off, hat off, chord off. It off, which is good, but I think I gotta change just the note on so I don't have no funny business if I switch it too fast. I have to re record it. it 
had a little bit of swing in it, and I don't want any swing in it because I need it to be like a heartbeat and keep the whole beat centered. So we're going to do it over again. I think that's pretty solid like that. So we're going to keep that. All right. So now let's bring in a ghost beat. For that kick. That one. Um, I should do my mute group, but I think I'm gonna let my kick ride. Alright, so I'm gonna bring this in as a ghost note. little loud but it will absolutely work in the groove Kick, uh, alternative all right so we'll save and now we're going to go through and fix the levels <laughs> Low one, low two, low four, low six. We'll do a little low six. I want to make sure it leaves room for the other sounds. Uh, modulation, short, uh, velocity, envelope. I really need to start working on modulation stuff, but I'm not going to do it here. I'm just going to fix this sound. So that's that kick. Go back to this kick. This one, and I thought it was this one. Yeah. Both of these guys. This one and this one. Program edit. Low. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. And I think that'll work. And then this one. Same thing. The mute group. I don't think I set the mute. I think it's three. I hope they don't conflict. Let's find out. All right, so it sounds like it's not consistent. Okay, so then for the hats, uh, let's go ahead and do the filters on the hats. So let's solo the hat. So to find it, this one, let's do the filter on it, low, low eight, okay, then the other hat, Find it. And let's do filter. All right, let's see if we got this thing in some kind of work. For the kick, this sounds a little bit heavy. Go to this kick solo. That one. Program low. Let's put it 
there. And I will continue to cut off. Okay, so now we got the kicks going, we got the hats going, let's check the chords against the sound. So now the chords are too, too loud, so let's go to the chord and let's solo it. It's here. that one. Let's go to main, go to the other chord, do the same thing, play it. It's there. Did I got your note repeat on that one? I thought I did. Nope, I didn't. I'll have to re-record that. So we were going to do the filter on that puppy. All right, cool. All right, so let's see where we are. Let's play that chord. I want to do something fancy, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I want to try doing an automation on that filter. And I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to try on this cutoff. So I'm going to put this on red for record. And I'm going to record and I'm going to adjust it manually and see if it records it. not playing my chord. Solo. Not recording. All right, so let me re-record it because for some reason it looks like it didn't record. off and let's hit overdub Main, solo, play, see, wow, oh, that's so weird. That's the sound. We'll re-record it. I don't know what's going on here, but we'll re-record it. All right, we'll let it loop back around. Automate. 
delete this cut off again. Overdub. That's all good. I'm gonna turn off that automation, and let's see what's next on my list. Uh, all right, so let's bring in another sound. We got kick. We got alternate. I think I hit save. Save it. All right. So now let's find another sound. Find a sound, and let's. Uh, you're off. You're off. You're off. We'll start with the first one, and then find a sound. figure out if we can get this clap in. I don't know if I should do singles or some. I think single claps should start and that way we'll stay on beat. I get too far, we're gonna try to swing that to see if we can make it work a little bit. Do it. A little bit too much swing. Back to do it. Still too much swing. Back one more. Do it. Sounds a little bit off. Try 52. Alright, cool. I think that'll work perfect. Now we're going to do some fancy stuff. I got that clap going. Where's it at? Let's solo it. It's right here. And I'm going to go program edit layer. And I'm going to offset another clap as a layer. So we'll come here, we'll go one more, we'll go here, and now I'm going to offset another clap. So let's find another clap. That's a rim. Let's offset it. Uh, let's listen to it real quick. Too much of a sound. Let's try a softer sound. All right, I think that'll work. And then for that second sound, we'll go back to the layers, bring it down. And then we'll just change the tone. I have no idea if it'll go with the beat. Let's find out. So I think it works. It's, you know, it's subtle. You can barely hear it. Let's try it with the other beat. Okay, so I think for this beat, I'll bring in a whole different clap. That way we'll have a whole different sound to it. So where's my other clap? There's my other clap. Uh, so what can we do? Maybe we'll do straight claps or some staggered clap. Maybe a staggered clap. Okay, so I think that works perfect. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna layer it. Uh, we're going to offset layer it. Um, 
kick, snare, clap, electric clap. Keep it, and we'll just adjust it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do an automation on this one. I'm gonna do another automation. I think I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna go only to one side because I like that noise down. All right, I think that works perfect. Uh, yep, okay, cool. All right, so we got all that, I'm gonna save it. I've gotten pretty far. This is a clap alternate. So now I got two claps and two alternates, or two chords and two claps with each with their own alternate. And now let's uh let's play them real quick and make sure they make sense. So these two go together. <laughs> Wow, that sounds like a nice break. So I think I'm going to turn this hat off, this hat off, this chord off, this clap off, and bring this in over to kicks. And it'll be like a break. At least I think it'll be like a break. Let's find out. I forgot to put it on note off. Again, record. This is pretty good right here. Yep, that goes with it. Okay, so this will be kind of like a rise and I actually so this is where it starts getting tricky because I actually like this uh, melody right here it sounds so good I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a sequence so I don't lose this beat so I'll just call it break one so that's a really good break I'm gonna commit a sequence to that break so that break is on Go back to our original. Now, because I did that, uh, I'm going to have to pick a beat so I don't lose track of my sequence. And I like this one, this one, and I think these two. This is a good main beat. So I'm going to go ahead and go here and commit this to a main. So we'll just call it M1. That's a, that's a good, it's just a good main sound. So I'm starting to build the pieces to the song. So we got a main and we got a break. And then, since I already got these pieces started, let's see if uh, this chord goes better with this clap or if I have to switch something. So we'll play this part. Let's try this clap. Or let's try both claps together. So 
that actually sounds like a good alternate beat. So I'm going to make this main two. So I'm going to take this sequence, copy it, call it M2. And I'm going to go back and hit save in case I have to backtrack. Um, so I got my break and I got two mains. Now, since I got two mains, this one and those, let's think about a lighter segue beat. sounds like a nice different kind of break but it's a good way to bring the beat down so I'm like this break too I don't know how this thing's gonna sound because I'm kind of going all over the place but we'll just roll with it all right so we got the second break uh oh that's not correct because that means I'm gonna have to change my other beat change it yeah I changed my other beat so we're gonna hit undo go back and go back to M2, go back to sequence one. Okay, and let's check it. M2, so break two. Break one, break two, M2. All right, we're gonna rebuild that break because uh, I recorded, I don't think I recorded it right. So that break was without this chord, I think it was without this clap. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so then this would be break two. Same sequence. Break two. two. All right, so that's break two. Listen to it. Well, actually, go back. Listen to it. All right, that would be a good break. All right, so did I do the rise? I don't know if I did the rise. Uh, let's find out. Sequence one, break. Yeah, the break, that rise is in that break. Okay, so sequence one, and I just made a break out of it, so now we need something else. Good little in between beat, so I'm gonna call it like a fill one, like a filler. So, in this sequence, I'm gonna call it fill one. All right, so that fill one. And this would be if this would be fill two. sounds than I want, but I don't want to take forever making this video, and I think if I keep going to where I'm going, I can finish it pretty quick with just a few, few pieces. All right, so let's save it. Okay, and I think we got a bunch of pieces and a bunch of songs. Let's go all the way back to the sequence. All right, so instead of just drilling on with the beats, I'm going to come up with an intro. Uh, let's see how this goes. That's 
a nice little break almost. Um, I wonder if that's similar to my other break. So it's one, two, three, four, like that. And then the other break is, which break is it? Oh, it's almost the same, just the hat is different. It sounds, sounds like it goes. All right, so we need some more variation. Maybe take this out. <laughs> wonder if I can do something on one sequence. Yeah, I could do something on one sequence that I don't do on another. So I'm going to try something kind of fancy. I'm going to keep this piece and I'm going to call it, uh, I think, break three maybe. Break one, break two. Yeah, break three. So we'll make a copy, sequence, copy, break three, do it. And now I'm going to go just on this one sequence and I'm going to change the riser. So where's that sound at? It's here. So I want to add something to it, but only on this one, on this program. So let's go to out one, out two. So we'll put something on it here to change it. See if it works. I think it works. Yep, it works. Okay, so now let's go back to our track and hear it. Bring, bring in the beat. Now let's check the other riser, which I think is break one and make sure I didn't change it by mistake. Yep, it's on the pad. So I can either bounce it to a sample or I can do something on the effects. Um, so right now it's doing it on the pad. And so since it's on the pad, every time that pad plays, I like the way it sounds. All right, so this is, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with it. I'm just gonna go and keep making the beat. So from here, that's a great intro. So I'm just gonna make it an intro. This will be like start one. So I'm gonna start my song with this. All right, so we'll start it with this. Bring in hats. Yep. That goes. Uh oh. Let me make sure I didn't have my mute song. Alright, so this will be sequence intro one. Intro one. All right, I think this is intro two. I hope that transitions nicely. I don't know if it will. We'll find out. It might not. So it's going to go from intro one, to intro two, and then after intro two, after this, I'm going to switch to main one, which will sound like this. Nope, it's too dramatic of a change. So I got to bring in another transition. All right, what are we going to do for here? how am I going to transition that? Maybe I'll turn it off here. Uh, I'm 
not sure I'm going to transition that. All right, I think I'm going to have to make some kind of way to transition. So we'll add a new track. We'll keep the sound. Maybe I can play the riser differently. Maybe I can play the riser differently. There's a riser. All right, we'll see if we can bring that in. I don't know. It's going to work. All right, we'll just save it anyway. All right, so we'll call this one Transition. And now I've got some kind of song going. I don't have my beginning. I guess I should do my ending. So for my ending, maybe I'll go and get back on my first one before I edit my part I'm trying to do. <laughs> That'll make one transition. Then for my next transition, we can go take the kick out, take the clap out. Wow, it's a good transition. I don't know how I'm going to make it fit. All right, well, if it doesn't work, it's all good because I kind of like the pieces and I can always clean it up later and make it better song wise. All right, so I got a bunch of pieces. I'm going to save this thing and go into song mode before this video takes like, you know, another hour or whatever and I'm end up with a long song. Okay, so how are we going to start this? We got hold the chord, we go S1, intro 1, intro 2, transition, then uh, main 1, main 2, break 1. Fill one, fill two, break two, main one, break three, transition two. All right, uh, let's see if we got a song. like the pieces are all over the place so I'm gonna have to get a piece of paper and go through and map all these sounds and figure out which ones go where so I think in the meantime I'm going to grab myself a quick piece of paper
So I got a piece of paper and a pen because all these pieces are all over the place. And I'm not going to be able to fix them without writing it down. So let's see how this goes. So for the first one, the S1 is perfect. So we keep the S1 where it is. And we go to the next one. That inch, uh, let's start it over. So both of those go. That 13 is a little bit off. So the M1 is totally out of place. So let's see. Let's see if the M2 is out of place. So I think that M1 sounds pretty good, so we'll probably do the M1 twice. And then go to the M2. And that break one needs to follow that transit one. So fill one goes with M1. Okay. Field two is completely different. So field two is different. got it we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete 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 and then we're gonna do so s1 so we do insert this one goes to s1 that goes to s1 the next one goes to intro one The next one goes to intro two. The next one goes to transition. Or transit. The next one goes to break one. The next one goes to break three. Three. Oh no, that's break one. And this one goes to break three. Then the next one, after break three, go to transition two. And after transition two, I go to M1. And M1 sounds so good, I'm going to insert two M1. And then we'll go to M2, so insert M2. M1, this one becomes M2, insert. Then after M2, we go F1, fill, fill one. And then after fill one, we go to fill two. And then after fill two, after fill two, uh, we can either transition back to the other one or we can start the ending.
All right, let's see what we got so far. So I think for transition two, I can take that sound out and let me see how it goes. So transition two, two, uh, that sounds good. That one gets to come out. So we're going to go overdub, record. Right, so I recorded in a little bit of in preparation for the other sound. Go back to my song. Go back to transition two. And let's see if I do. So I should have did. Should have did. should bring that one in, but I'm going to find that other sound. Maybe. Where's that sound? The one that uh, is on M1? I don't know where that sound is. I'm gonna have to go dig for it. Uh, okay, so it was chord here. There. So I'm gonna bring that one in on my transition sound. So go back to transition two. And right now in transition two, I have. Here. That's transition one. So we need transition two. All right. So we'll record it over it here.
thing's going to need a little bit more cleanup, and I don't want to spend a little bit more time. So what I'm going to do to cheat is I'm going to have this one do two bars, have that one stay at one bar, that one stay at one bar, that one stay at one bar, insert one more, and we'll do this as a, maybe this one could be, we'll do it as maybe intro, intro two. Alright, so we'll do this as intro two. Insert, and then we'll do intro one. Insert, and then we'll do start. And I'm going to save it, and that's going to be the whole song. And then when I get some more time, I'm going to come back and edit it and make a new song. So ship, save it, and this is my beat. Actually, I got a hack on song mode. This is my beat. That's how it goes. Sharp MC. Live. Live. Peace. 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 Peace.